Are you sabotaging your own dreams? Discover the three deadly habits that kill the law of attraction in your life and learn how to break free from them today. You know, for years I've talked about the power of positive thinking, about believing in yourself and your dreams. And that's because I've seen firsthand the incredible transformations that can happen when we align ourselves with the law of attraction. This universal law, my friends, simply states that like attracts like. What we focus our energy on, we, we invite into our lives. When we radiate positivity, when we truly believe in our potential, the universe conspires to make those dreams a reality. But here's the catch, and it's a big one. There are these insidious little habits, these dream crushers that so many of us unknowingly harbor. These habits, they act like a closed door, blocking the flow of abundance and joy that the law of attraction promises. But today we're going to throw that door wide open. We're going to shine a light on those habits that are holding you back. And together, we're going to break free. Are you ready? The law of attraction in its simplest form is the idea that what you focus your thoughts and energy on, you attract into your life. It's about understanding that we are all energetic beings, vibrating at different frequencies. And just like a magnet attracts metal, our thoughts and feelings attract similar energies from the universe. Think of it like this. Imagine a garden. If you're constantly planting seeds of doubt, fear and negativity, well, guess what's going to grow? Weeds. Weeds of worry, self-sabotage and unfulfilled dreams. But if you tend to your garden with love, if you plant seeds of hope, gratitude and belief in yourself, you'll cultivate a life brimming with joy, abundance and purpose. The law of attraction is not some magical genie in a bottle, my friends. It's not about wishing for something and having it magically appear. It's about aligning your thoughts, your beliefs and your actions with the things you desire most deeply. It's about becoming a vibrational match for your dreams. Now you might be thinking, Oprah, this sounds great and all, but why haven't my dreams manifested yet? Why am I still struggling? And that's a valid question. You see, the truth is many of us, myself included, have developed habits subconscious patterns of thinking and behaving that directly contradict the law of attraction. These habits, they act like energetic blocks, preventing us from fully stepping into our power. It's like trying to drive you know, a car with the emergency brake on. You might be moving, but you're not going to get very far and you're certainly not going to enjoy the ride. But here's the good news. Just as we've learned these habits, we have the power to unlearn them. We can rewire our brains, shift our perspectives, and create new empowering habits that align with the life we truly desire. Over the next few chapters, we're going to dive deep into the three most common habits that sabotage the law of attraction. Negative self-talk, living in fear, and lack of gratitude. We'll explore how these habits show up in our lives, the devastating impact they have on our ability to manifest our dreams. And most importantly, we'll equip you with practical tools and strategies to break free from their grip. Remember, this is a journey, a process of self-discovery and transformation. There's no magic wand, but with awareness, commitment, and a sprinkle of self-compassion, you can unlock the incredible power within you to create a life beyond your wildest dreams. So let's embark on this journey together, shall we? Let's talk about the first dream crusher, negative self-talk. This, my friends, is that little voice inside your head that whispers doubts and insecurities. It's the voice that says you're not good enough, you'll never succeed, or who are you to even try? We all have that voice to some degree, it's part of being human. 
But the problem is, when we allow that negative self-talk to run rampant, it becomes our reality. We start to believe those limiting beliefs and we act accordingly. And guess what happens then? We actually sabotage our own success. Think about it. If you're constantly telling yourself you're not worthy of love, you're going to unconsciously push away potential partners. If you're always dwelling on your past mistakes, you're going to be too afraid to take risks and go after what you truly want. The second dream crusher is a big one, living in fear. Fear is a natural human emotion. It's there to protect us from danger. But so often we allow, we allow fear to paralyze us, to keep us small and stuck. We're afraid of failure, afraid of rejection, afraid of the unknown. And so we stay in our comfort zones, even when our hearts are longing for something more. We settle for mediocrity because it feels safer than the possibility of falling flat on our faces. But here's the thing about fear. It thrives in the shadows of our imagination. It's always focused on what might go wrong instead of what could go right. And the more we feed into that fear, the stronger it becomes until it's controlling our every thought and action. Now, the third dream crusher might surprise you lack of gratitude. You might be thinking, Oprah, how can not being grateful enough sabotage my dreams? Well, let me tell you, gratitude is like a magnet for miracles. When we're grateful for what we have, no matter how small, we shift our energy from a place of lack to a place of abundance. We start to see the good in our lives and that attracts even more goodness. But when we're constantly focused on what we don't have, when we're always striving for the next best thing, we miss out on the beauty of the present moment. We become so caught up in chasing after something more that we forget to appreciate all the blessings we already have. These three dream crushers, negative self-talk, living in fear and lack of gratitude, they're insidious. They creep into our lives disguised as harmless thoughts and habits, but their impact can be devastating. They keep us stuck in cycles of self-sabotage, preventing us from living the extraordinary lives we're capable of. But here's the good news. Once you become aware of these dream crushers, you can start to dismantle them. You can choose to replace those negative thoughts with positive affirmations. You can face your fears head on and step boldly into the unknown. And you can cultivate a heart filled with gratitude, appreciating the beauty in every moment. Now let's talk about those anxious and intrusive thoughts. You know, the ones that pop into your head at the worst possible times, whispering doubts and fears. They can be relentless, like a broken record player stuck on repeat. The first step to breaking free is to simply acknowledge them. Don't try to push them away or pretend they're not there. Instead, say to yourself, aha, I see you, fear. I recognize that you're here, but I'm not going to let you control me. Next, challenge those thoughts. Ask yourself, is this a thought really true? What evidence do I have to support this belief? Often you'll find that those Anxious thoughts are based on irrational fears or past experiences that are no longer relevant. Once you've challenged those thoughts, it's time to reframe them. Instead of focusing on the negative, look for the positive. For example, if you're feeling anxious about a presentation, instead of thinking, I'm going to mess this up, reframe it to, um, I've prepared well and I'm going to do my best. Another powerful technique is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present in this very moment without judgment. When you're mindful, you're not dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. You're simply observing your thoughts and feelings without getting swept away by them. One simple way to practice mindfulness is to focus on your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. 
When your mind wanders, as it inevitably will, gently guide your attention back to your breath. Remember, breaking free from anxious and intrusive thoughts is a process. It takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself and celebrate every small victory along the way. Now let's talk about the science and art of manifestation. Because manifesting your dreams isn't just about wishful thinking. It's about taking aligned action. You see, the universe loves action. When you're clear about what you want and you're taking steps towards your goals, the universe responds by opening doors and presenting you with opportunities. But here's the key. Your actions need to be in alignment with your desires. If you want to attract abundance, but you're constantly complaining about money, your actions are contradicting your desires. Start by getting crystal clear about what you want to manifest. Write down your goals in detail, as if they've already happened. Feel the emotions of joy, gratitude and excitement as you visualize your dreams coming true. Next, create a plan of action. Break down your goals into smaller manageable steps. What can you do today, this week, this month, to move closer to your dreams? And remember, consistency is key. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Keep taking aligned action, even when it's hard, even when you don't feel like it. Now, as we delve into the heart of transformation, let's talk about the importance of embracing the present moment. So often, we're caught in the trap of dwelling on the past, reliving old hurts and regrets, or worrying about the future consumed by anxieties and what-ifs. But the truth is, the only moment we truly have is this one, right now. Think about it. The past is gone, immutable, and the future is yet to be written. The present moment, however, is ripe with possibilities. It's in this very moment that we can choose how we want to think, feel and act. It's in this moment that we can break free from the chains of our past and step into the fullness of our being. Embracing the present moment isn't about ignoring our problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about shifting our focus from what's wrong to what's right, from what we lack to what we have. It's about finding moments of joy and gratitude amidst the chaos of everyday life. One of the simplest yet most profound ways to connect with the present moment is through our senses. Take a moment to truly see the world around you. Observe the vibrant colours, the intricate details, the play of light and shadow. Listen to the symphony of sounds, the gentle breeze rustling through the leaves, the laughter of children playing, Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, the soft caress of a loved one's touch. As you engage your senses, you'll find your mind naturally calming, your worries fading into the background. You'll begin to experience the beauty and wonder that surrounds you in every moment. Another powerful practice is gratitude. Take some time each day to reflect on all the things you're grateful for, big or small. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee in the morning, the sound of your favourite song or the love of family and friends. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude, we shift our energy from a place of lack to a place of abundance. We begin to see the world through a lens of possibility and appreciate the countless blessings that surround us. Remember, embracing the present moment is not a destination, but a journey, a continuous practice of bringing our awareness back to the now. It's about savoring the simple joys, finding peace amidst the chaos, and living each moment with intention and gratitude. Transform your life by breaking free from these habits. Embrace the power of the law of attraction to manifest your dreams. Subscribe to our channel like this video and share your journey with us. Remember, you are worthy of love, abundance and joy.
You have the power within you to create a life beyond your wildest dreams. Let's create a life of abundance, peace and joy together.